Hello guys and welcome to the Canadian Space Nerd on my first ever video. Uh, this is top 10 most powerful rockets of all time. I uh, thought this would be a great uh, topic to start off my channel. And this is, I'm also including uh, future rockets, uh, upcoming rockets that are being built. So I guess let's kick this off with the honorable mention. Okay, so the honorable mention is the Falcon 9. I was actually sort of disappointed. I really, really thought that this was going to make it into the top 10. I was surprised when it didn't. So when I got through the list, I sort of saw why. I think it was one off. So this is my favorite rocket of all time. It's actually the only reusable orbital class rocket. And the the new Shepard was before it, but that only went into suborbit. And there's no other rocket really like it on the market. It's 62 million dollars per launch, which is insanely cheap, way cheaper than really any other rocket. And it's reusable, and it can actually get 22.8 tons, or 50,300 50, pounds to the Earth orbit, which is quite a bit. It's some 42 launches, which two of them have failed. It actually landed its first ever first stage back on Earth in December 15th, or December 20th, 2015, I want to say. So it was, it was a pretty crazy day. If you want to see the reaction, you can search it up on SpaceX's YouTube channel or just a simple YouTube search. And this is an insane rocket. I love it. I hope you guys too. And on to number 10. Okay, so this one I found the most surprising. Uh, at number 10, it's actually the Proton M. Uh, I never really heard of this rocket, I heard the Proton, except I never really thought it was this, the Proton M was enough to be in the top 10 most powerful rockets of all time, including the future rockets, except it turns out it is, um, so it actually had a, did a, exactly 100 launches as of sometime this year, I think like July 21st, 2017. And it's, uh, they want to get to 90% success rate, which isn't the greatest. But this rocket actually is a really cool looking rocket. Uh, it can launch 23 tons or 51,000 pounds to low Earth orbit, so it's a tad bit more powerful than the Falcon 9. And it's also insanely cheap at only $65 million. Uh, there you have a better view of it. Like, I'm not sure what you guys think, but I think this rocket is an insanely sexy looking rocket, like, it's all the boosters, I think those are four, six boosters, so yeah, it's, I love this rocket, I'm not sure about you guys, but it definitely deserves a spot on this list. Alright, so next up is the Space Shuttle. This one probably doesn't surprise you, I think you knew this would be on this list. You'd be pretty hard pressed to find somebody that doesn't know what the Space Shuttle is. Uh, actually had 134 launches, two of them had failed, or 132 launches and two of them have failed, and it actually resulted in, I think like, something like 12, 14 astronauts that died, which, th those are probably the two saddest days in space, except it did have 130 successes, which is really, really good. So I would definitely classify it as a safe, uh, rocket. It is a partially reusable, you know, it goes up, does its thing, land, everybody knows how it does, what what it does. It can actually get up to 27.5 tons, or 60,600 pounds to the Earth orbit, which is also pretty good. The problem with this rocket, or I guess space shuttle, is that it, it, could, it was reusable, so that really didn't take down the price at all. Um, you could actually get only four, oh, <laughs> it costs $450 million per launch for only 27.5 tons maximum. That really, that, that's just too expensive. Uh, like, let alone going to the moon, which is actually impossible, because the moon doesn't have a runway, and you need a runway to land the space shuttle. That is the only problem with this. Otherwise, it's a pretty cool concept, and it worked really well. Um, 
it was uh I miss it, but we have to move on, so that's why they cancelled it. So on to number eight. Okay, so number eight is the Delta IV Heavy. This rocket is the most powerful rocket in operation right now. Uh, it is none more powerful than, than that's currently in operation, which is sort of sad because this really isn't that powerful. But that soon should well be no longer when uh when you know, you know the Falcon Heavy launches this year, and there's you know, there's a whole bunch of other rockets that are going to launch soon, like the New Glenn Interplanetary Transportation System, uh, uh Space Launch System. So this soon will just be dwarf. Except it's still a sort of sad that this is the most powerful rocket. It is pretty powerful. So it could easily be more powerful. It's made by the United Launch Alliance. It's only launched nine times. One time was a partial failure. I oh, hate to be that customer. Because this costs 375 million per launch. Uh, so if you wonder how much it can uh, launch it, 28.79 tons. Or 63,400... 63,470 pounds, which that's all white. This Upsala could be a bit more powerful. Um, this actually does use engines from the Cold War, but so <laughs> it's pretty well technology. So, yeah, the Delta IV Heavy, pretty cool rocket, but yeah, not really much special about it. Alright, at number 7, I have New Glenn. I really, really am very excited for this rocket. Uh, the reason why I say it's reusable, first of all, and second of all, this rocket is huge, okay? It's almost as tall as the Saturn V, the tallest rocket ever built. It's like, this is actually the two stage rocket that you see a picture of. There's a three stage one which is even bigger. It's so close, and it just looks so cool. Um, it's reusable. And I, I, it can get up to 45 tons or 99,000 pounds to low Earth orbit. So as you can see, that is just all of a sudden a huge jump in, in uh, tonnage and the amount of weight that they can get to low Earth orbit from the Delta IV Heavy to this. So this is what I'm saying. Like, there isn't really that many powerful rockets on the market right now. And once these come out, these rocks are actually considered to be really powerful. Um, its first launch is 2020. Uh, they actually, Blue Origins actually has an animation of the launch on their YouTube channel. I highly recommend that you check it out. Actually, that's where I got this picture from. So yeah, um, New Glenn. What can I say? It is such a cool rocket. It's, it's going to be one of my favorites. Alright, so at number 6 we have the Falcon Heavy. This rocket, I think, is it's going to be my favorite rocket once it first launches uh, this November 2017. So yeah, it launches November 2017, so this rocket is not that far away. It's just a few months and it's going to be launched. <laughs> That's going to be really awesome. There's some skepticism about it, whether or not it will succeed. Except, yeah, I think it will. Yeah, I'm hoping it will. And so it can have 63.8 tons, or 140,660 pounds to uh, low Earth orbit. And it only costs 90 million per launch, which is once again insane. Fully reusable. All three of the first stage boosters will come down. And yeah, it's, it's uh, if you guys want to watch it, Rocket launch, I highly suggest that you watch the first Falcon 9 in November 2017. Alright, so the N1 rocket is a rocket that surprisingly not many people know about. And the reason is, is that it never really successfully launched. It was, uh, it, it was in the space race to the moon. And this one actually launched before Apollo 11, a few months before. But it failed, and then it failed, it tried to launch a whole bunch of times up until 1972, and has all had four fails. 
It's a huge rocket, not quite as big as a Saturn V, and not quite as powerful. It can carry 95 tons with 209,000 pounds into low, low Earth orbit. So, once again, insanely powerful, but not quite as powerful as the Saturn V. But still a really cool rocket and definitely deserves a spot on this list. Okay, so you'd be so hard pressed finding somebody to know what Energia is. Practically, it launched two times, both were successful. It was made by Russia. It was an insanely powerful space shuttle. It never even carried cargo, one with it launched once with the space shuttle, once without. But it was insanely powerful, like it was insane. It could carry a hundred tons or two hundred twenty thousand pounds to low, to low Earth orbit. And to, and if you remember, the space shuttle can only carry twenty seven point five tons to low Earth orbit. So this is a behemoth. Not many people know about it, just because it really didn't launch very much. Never carried a single payload. Best to launch, so I did count it. And um, yeah. That is the Energia. Alright, so next up is the Space Launch System. This rocket is being developed by NASA. Um, and it is sort of like the sort of sequel to the, to the Space Shuttle. So it's a rocket. It comes with a Block 1, Block 1B, and a Block 2. Block 1 can carry 70 tons to low Earth orbit. Block 1B can carry 105 tons to low Earth orbit, and Block 2 can carry 130 tons to low Earth orbit. So they're all uh, quite powerful, but you know, Block 2 is way more powerful than Block 1. There are several mi several missions scheduled for it. Uh, for first one uh, will be putting the first parts of a space station in, in uh, around the moon. And then after that, they will probably do a launch the Europa Clipper with the space launch system. And then they'll also do the first man launch in 2021 to 2023 to continue on the space station and keep on adding on to that space station. And it will cost $500 million per launch, so very expensive. Alright, so the Saturn V is the mother of all rockets. Uh, its first launch was in 1967 for Apollo 4, and so last launch was 1972 or 1973 for the Skylab, and so last manned mission was 1972 for Apollo 17. Practically, this w took the first astronauts to orbit the moon, the first astronauts on the moon, and it launched the first American space station. And but the reason why this was so, well, the reason why they quit making this, like, it was unprecedented how much money it cost. But it was like something like 165 to 175 million back in the day. But in current money, it's 106, 100, 1.16 billion dollars per launch. So it'll be over a billion dollars to launch this. And so it took 140 tons, so it was huge. Um, 140 tons to low Earth orbit. This is mo what most people's favorite rocket would be. It's truly, it's I say it's probably the greatest machine ever made. All right, so this is the coolest rocket you will ever see. It's being developed by SpaceX, and it's called the Interplanetary Planetary Transport System, or ITS for short. This rocket, you will not believe how powerful it is. Um, I'm gonna, so he hopes, Elon Musk hopes to get it down to $200,000 per person eventually to buy a ticket, but like the first few people, or like the first few trips, you'll definitely have to pay into the millions to go on a trip to Mars. And that's practically what this is meant for, to go on a trip to Mars. Um, and call on that, so. So yeah, as you can see, you can launch... 330 tons in reusable mode, 550 tons in expandable mode, in expandable mode, and that's how much he hopes to get down to per person. We don't know how much it, costs, it, it will cost per launch yet, 
Except essentially it would just be two hundred thousand dollars times a hundred, because that's how many people will be going on this rocket. And so once again, insane rocket. This is the coolest rocket you'll ever see, hands down, or that you can possibly see on the internet right now. That's not fake. Um, you can see the animation on SpaceX's YouTube channel. And yeah, that is my top 10 list. If you like this video, I would love it if you would hit that uh, thumbs up and subscribe button. I'm new to YouTube, but I really help out. This is my very first video. And I really want to get into this. Um, if you guys want to see lots more videos, I can do any, any topics you want. Just suggest them to me and I will do them. And so, remember to smash that subscribe and like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.